Welcome back everybody. My name is Ben Schubert. I'm a filmmaker and on this channel I like to talk about filmmaking tools, uh, tips, techniques, and on the last video I talked about why I switched from a 2013 iMac to a 2009 Mac Pro. So if you're interested in the reasons why I did that, you can definitely go check out that video. But in that video, I mention one of the problems I came across when I set up this computer, and that is I originally had a Thunderbolt display. And when I set up this computer, I really thought that I could just use mini display port and that it would work. And the answer was absolutely not, because that is not how Thunderbolt works. I really thought that the cable coming out of the Thunderbolt cable was just mini display port that also had some extra things on it. So it carries a lot of information, but it also carries a video signal that goes along with that. So it doesn't exactly pair up with mini display as I thought it would. And you see the 2009 Mac Pro doesn't come with any Thunderbolt capabilities whatsoever. Thunderbolt came out much later and none of the Mac Pro towers from that era were ever given Thunderbolt headers or any sort of capacity to work with it at all. So I was kind of stuck with what to do and I was really considering selling that screen. And so I was looking at what my options were. Now, one of the options is that you can actually dismantle the screen and go straight into the mini display port inside the controller and then put it all back together. I have no interest in taking part my screen like that. That seems like a lot of time and energy and money that I don't want to risk. And so I was lost as to what to do. I was really considering selling the display and getting a secondary display in its place. I even thought about downgrading to the cinema display because that is just a mini display port. So my other option was to go with another PCI card called the uh, Arctic Ridge Titan or something, or the Titan Thunderbolt card. And people have had success with this. The only issue is you have to soft boot through Windows. So you have to have a copy of Windows and you have to boot into Windows and then kind of boot back into Mac OS in order for it to work. And that's just to get your screen. And that price was looking at about over $200 to set that up. And so I wasn't interested. I'd might as well sell the screen and get a new one at that point. And so that's where everything was for me for the last month. So recently in the Facebook group, Mac Pro Upgrades, someone actually found a solution. And that's to go with a PCI card called the Asus Thunderbolt X PCI card. Now what's really interesting about this card, is it actually doesn't take the video signal from a Thunderbolt header, it actually takes it from your video card. And what's great about this is it actually sidesteps the whole Thunderbolt process. And so you can take your video signal from your video card into a mini display port input on this card and then it'll connect it into the Thunderbolt display out and then connect it to your Thunderbolt display. Unfortunately at this time I've not been able to get any of the data to go through it but just having access to my monitor again feels really great. That was such a victory. So unfortunately I can't use any of the inputs in the back of my Thunderbolt display which to be honest I don't know if I need any more USB 2 inputs, so not a big loss for me. Probably the biggest loss is the iSight camera and I don't have control over brightness and uh, sound on the speakers or the speakers themselves. But for me, I didn't need that. The thing that I need most is just the ability to display something on that screen. And it means that I get to keep that screen for the future for when I'm back to Thunderbolt machines. So it means that it just has added life to my Thunderbolt display. One of the reasons I went with the 2009 Mac Pro was because I wanted to keep useful hardware out of being just e-waste. So that means that my Thunderbolt display is gonna continue to have a good life. It may have had a good life with someone else. I don't know. I don't know how they treat their things. So if this video has been helpful to you, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions about this setup and how it works, please leave it in the comments. If you know anything more about the setup, how to get the data to flow through, please leave those in the comments too because I would love to know more. Uh, direct me to more information. That would be really great. And if you're interested in you know, following my journey as a filmmaker and learning more about the tools I use and the techniques I use, uh, please subscribe to this channel. 
Until then, see you later.